Now every now and again I wouldn't be able to wait to save up the 2 99 to buy a new game. And with the 1 99 or £2 rather that I did have burning a hole in my pocket, I would just buy the first game that I saw that I could actually afford. And it was almost invariably a disaster, you don't need me to tell you that. One of those games was Cosmic Pirate. And I've never met MD then or since then who'd either played or heard Cosmic Pirate, which probably tells you everything you need to know about it. Now at the time, just being a young one, I thought there was something wrong with me. It was like when I first played Elite. Now, everybody said Elite was a fucking brilliant game, the best thing ever. I didn't have a clue how to play it, I didn't have a clue what I was meant to be doing, and I just thought, oh, this is boring, this is shit, and I stopped. Same with Cosmic Pirate. I assumed there was some element to it that I was missing. It was going to turn it into a unique and unforgettable experience, and indeed, it was a unique and unforgettable experience, but presumably not for the reasons that it was meant to be. It was basically, as you can see, a shit asteroids clone, with no depth and no meaning over and above that. I tried, played it for ages, I looked at that dodgy wee map up at the, the top of the top centre of the screen thinking that was telling me something useful. I checked and I checked and I checked the front menu again because it had so many options, something, something there had to be interesting, but no, it never turned out that way. Cosmic Pirate was the biggest waste of two pounds that I've ever indulged in in my entire life. I'm really thinking hard. If I've bought anything for £2, it has been more of a waste of money than this. I have to honestly say, no.